morning students today we will continue with the same topic in chemistry which is atomic structure we will learn two important terms which are atomic number and mass number we will proceed with the example the first example the first element in the periodic table which is hydrogen it is represented with the symbol h hope you remember now the first element has only one proton and has no neutrons so can you recall the subatomic particles protons neutrons are present in the center which is called the nucleus the center is called the nucleus and the electrons are the negatively charged particles which revolve around the nucleus in an orbit so the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons since hydrogen has only one proton we have included one electron i have i have represented with a orange bead the electron with a orange bead so hydrogen has one proton so the atomic number is a term that you are going to learn now so the atomic number is given by the number of proton present in the atom that is in the nucleus so hydrogen has one proton so the atomic number is 1 so the atomic number is 1 so it is represented by the symbol z atomic number is represented by the symbol z and it is the number of proton so hydrogen has only one proton so the atomic number is 1 but it has so it is the only element which has no neutrons that is it does not have any neutrally charged particle in the nucleus so the mass number is the next term that i am going to introduce the mass number is given by the symbol a it is the number of proton plus the number of neutrons so here in hydrogen we have no neutrons so the mass number is 1 plus 0 which is again 1 so hydrogen has both the atomic number and mass number which is equal to 1 so let us consider the next example helium helium is given by the symbol he right now we'll see it has two protons so now i'll replace this one with two so definitely what will be the number of electrons it is also two because the number of proton is always equal to the number of electrons so two protons and two electrons so can you guess what is the atomic number of helium yes it is 2 so helium as the atomic number z is 2 for helium so atomic number is number of proton since the number of proton is 2 and it is also equal to the number of electrons so i have placed two electrons using this representation and then it also has two neutrons helium has two neutrons so i'll just add two here now can you tell me what is the mass number of helium yes it is 2 plus 2 it is 4 since helium has two neutrons so it is the mass number is nothing but the number of proton plus the number of neutrons so it is 2 plus 2 which is 4 so the mass number of helium is 4 so let us consider the next example what it is it is lithium lithium the symbol is li which is used in the batteries so we'll remove this atomic number so the atomic number of lithium is dash it has three protons so i am removing this it has three protons so now we have just have uh, we have only two electrons so we have to add one more electron since lithium has three protons so i am going to add one more electron but i cannot add it in the same k shell because the maximum capacity that k shell can hold so the first shell is named as k the second shell as l m n and so on so we will learn about this in detail later so first shell k shell can hold only two electron since i have to add one more i have to move to the next orbit which is l shell so i am adding here one more since uh, lithium has three proton it should also contain three electrons now it has four neutrons so now i'll add four number four here now tell me what is the atomic number of lithium yes it is three since it has three proton The atomic number is three. Z is three. What about its mass number? Yes, it is three plus four. So it is three plus four is seven. So the mass number of lithium is seven. So we'll move to the next examples in the next videos. Thank you.